Hi there, once again, welcome to Agiotech. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build or how to create a monthly income and expenditure tracker using Excel. So we're going to build something like this. We're going to have our income, our income for the months, and we're going to also going to have my new worksheet. And then I'm going to select the entire workbook. For instance, the worksheet, I'm going to select the entire cells. As you can see, we have some small triangle over here which give you the option to select the entire worksheet. So I just want to increase the cell space, okay? So I'll open this up and then I'm also going to, let me also increase the size of my cells, okay? The, I'm going to expand the column as well, as well as what? The, the roof, let me close the roof a bit and then I think this is okay. So we're going to at least match from here, we want to give the title. So we're going to use the merge keyword. We're going to merge. So we're going to go to the home. We have the home tab at the alignment. We're going to use the merge center and then we're going to merge the top over there. So as you can see, we've given a title to this particular document. We say monthly income and expenditure tracker. So let's actually do that over here. So I'm just going to type, I'm going to type everything in caps monthly income and expenditure expenditure tracker so this is going to be our name and let's select the entire so remember we've made it so let's select it and then within the same alignment we're going to use the center align and the bottom align at the same time for this so that we have our text neatly aligned to the center we're going to increase the font to somewhere around i think 22 is okay and let's bold in this and then we're going to give a very ash background color so you can see we're going to give some background color for that so let's go to within the font group and go to where we have the fill color let's select some ash and then let's okay so this is okay for now we've been able to finish the first part of our soul the next thing we're going to do is to also have merge this column for the monthly income and then also merge another three columns so you see three column for the monthly income and then trade for what the monthly expenditure so we're going to do that let's select this and then go to mesh center and then select this as well and also go towards mesh center so we have this mesh together uh, as we want so and i'm going to type monthly income and then also type monthly expenditure over here so let's just go ahead and then do that so monthly so this is going to be monthly income then we're going to have what's monthly expenditure so i'm doing everything step by step so they can follow so now that we have this let's also use the same process alignment let's go to center align at the bottom uh, middle align at the same time and let's make the size somewhere around 18 and then give a background color for this for this income i just want to use something green color something deeper for you to see and then i'll make my font bold and then center line it's already center as you can see and my font is going to be bold and then text color is going to be white so i'm just going to change this to white and i'm going to do the same thing for my monthly expenditure so there's going to be center and then middle align the font size we use 14 right and then we use yeah let's use 18 okay 18 bolden it and then this is going to be what the color is going to be red because this expenditure we are assuming something is running out of our account okay so let's change this to white and that part of our design has been sorted out so we're going to create the next but before we do that let's select the entire source where we are working let's select everything to up to this stage and then we'll go to within the phone group let's use the border we're going to apply or we're going to select all borders so you can see my mouse movement we're going to select all borders and then that is good so what we're going to do next is to give some light green color and then some light red for the monthly income and then the monthly expenditure respectively so i'm going to select this part and then i'm going to i'm going to the full color and then select some light green for this part let's add light green and also some light red for this part okay so that is it and then we're going to select the rest of so where we are going to have the amount let's a bit let's try and then 